Hi friends, welcome to yet another informative and entertaining class of mathematics. And let me tell you that we have uh, learnt and heard of terms like uh, antecedent, consequent, simplification ratio. All these are familiar, aren't they? So in this class, we are going to learn about the properties of ratio how to compare ratios, proportion and types of proportion, etc. So as of now, let us recollect all that we know so far. The cost of a car is 7 lakh rupees. The cost of a scooter is 50,000 rupees. A. Which item's cost is more? Obviously, the cost of the car is more. B. How many scooters can be bought with the cost of one car? Cost of the car by cost of the scooter is equal to 7 lakhs by 50,000 is equal to 14 scooters. How many times of the cost of the car is more than the cost of the scooter? Yes, you are right, 14 times. What did you observe from this example? What did we exactly do? We compared two quantities in how many ways? We compared it in two ways. We compared it using subtraction and by division. You must recollect that repeated subtraction is nothing but division. For easy calculation purpose, mostly division is used to compare. Now, let us see the definition of the ratio first. Ratio is the comparison of two quantities by division. Remember, ratio is calculated for the same type of quantities. We denote ratio using this symbol. Let us understand this with the help of an example. This is John and he carries 12 pencils. And this is Ram and he carries 30 pencils. Now let us find the ratio of the quantities of the pencils that John and Ram carry. Solution. Let us first make the packet of two pencils each. So how many packets do John and Ram have? Yes. 6 and 15 respectively. So, the equivalent ratio is 6 is to 15. Let us see what happens if Ram and John make packets of 3 pencils each. How many packets does each of them have? Yes, you are right. John has 4 packets and Ram has 10 packets. Therefore, the equivalent ratio is 4 is to 10. Now let us see what would be the equivalent ratio if Ram and John make a packet of 6 pencils each. Let's see. Hey, look, John has 2 packets and Ram has 5 packets. So the equivalent ratio is 2 is to 5. With these examples, I am sure you understood how to calculate equivalent ratio for any given problem. So let us proceed further. These are some of the properties of ratios. 1. Ratio has no units. 2. The ratio of A is to B is equal to A by B. 3. 
if a is greater than b then a by b shows by how many times a is to b 4 if a is less than b then we say a by b by which part a is to b